Good morning. Good morning from the port of Miami. Miami. We are, we are here for a Disney cruise on the Disney Magic. This is our first time being on the Magic in a long oh, time. Since 2019. Very excited. Yes. So excited. It's our favorite ship. Yes. Come at us. I don't care. It's the best. It is the best ship. <laughs> that and the Wonder. Both of them are Agreed. really good ships. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, but yeah, we, we came into uh, to Miami last night actually staying at the Intercontinental. Yeah. Uh, that's right next to the port. Super nice hotel. Super nice. Really actually yeah. not that expensive at all. It was like yeah. 200 bucks all yeah. in, you know, with everything included mm -hmm. for the night. Um, you can get like a credit for the lounge. So we had some drinks at the lounge last night. Yeah. Um, we had a very interesting trip to Margaritaville. Oh my god. Because uh, we thought it would be funny just to walk over to go to Margaritaville. Um, yeah. And we wanted like a safe meal. You don't want to eat something you Is don't, aren't familiar with. Is Margaritaville considered safe? No, it was pretty bad. No, um, but we survived and we are here. Yes. Uh, the time is 10 26, mm -hmm. so we're gonna leave here at about 11 because we have any 11 30 port arrival times. We'll get there a little yes. bit early, um, you know, get our bags taken by mm -hmm. the porters, we'll get parking, yep. and mm -hmm. then uh, yeah, we'll get on the ship. So excited! So we'll see you at the port. She also mentioned the actual itinerary. Just a little yeah. three-night, little three-night <laughs> yeah. cruise. Just so a three-night going to Nassau, Bahamas, which we do not get off the no, ship on. Um, yeah, just hang out. And then Castaway Key. So really yeah. excited to go back there. And then we'll be back in Miami on Monday. But um, yeah, like super excited. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, to be back aboard the Disney Magic. Look, we got Mickey meeting over at the D Lounge. Here's Cove Cafe walking into the adults area. Such a huge departure compared to the Wish. It's, you know, a nice sectioned off, decent sized space. You have a real pool that you can fit more than 12 people in. It's it's really nice. It's just a nice area. We had some champagne uh, right before we went over to Cabana's lunch. All right, we have finally sat to eat some cabanas that's right i'm seven years old because i got mac and cheese i got a little fish panko breasted fish thing and some chicken nuggets and a roll and some butter also had prosecco so that's fun and uh yeah definitely a little busy not too bad uh, it is you know uh 12 55 a cabana so most people are getting on the ship right now uh, but still much more manageable uh, to get food and everything than the wish was. So, gotta love the magic. It is time. We have entered our room. It's time for a room tour. Small ship, means slightly small bathroom, but that's cool. Got a toilet in one area, the shower in the other. Look very yellow, really enough. Uh, still H2O. Some ships put little stickers on it to cover that up, but not ours. We do have the pumps, perfectly fine. Uh, we splurged also getting on the ship and uh, we ordered to our room the Bluetooth floating wireless speaker. Absolutely amazing. We were hoping it was going to be the 25th one, knowing that we probably wouldn't get it. We did not, but that's okay. It's still really cool. We also got some brand new Castaway Club merch. We got a new bag. Super nice. Got a wet dry bag for our bathing suits and things. Um, yeah, and then our new gold lanyards. Very large. So large lanyards. But nice though, Castaway Club and all that. Very cool. Uh, then on all the other ships, aside from the Wish, we have drawers and cabinets. Nice to have drawers and cabinets. We got a big king size bed. This is category 09B, which hey, means don't we give are. Them my social security number. Oh my god, I'm just kidding. <laughs> which means we have a ocean view. Uh, we did a guaranteed stateroom this time. We are uh, room 2046. Uh, which means we are just off the elevators midship uh, on the second deck, deck two, and uh, on the I'm trying to think, R right is starboard, so we're on the starboard side of the ship. Starboard side. Maybe this side. Maybe we're on aft. I don't know. Or no, it's port on the left, to starboard matter. on the right. Who cares? Everyone watching will correct us. Oh, of course they will. We promise we know what it is. We just I never get it I, while we're filming. <laughs> I swear this is like <laughs> our 11th cruise. I know. And then, yeah. But someone will comment. So. <laughs> Actually, what number cruise is this? Nine. Is it nine? I think it's nine. Yeah. Oh, wow, we're almost platinum. Yeah. That's exciting. I know. So almost close. there. So and close. then we have Pearl, which is 25. God help us all. Um, yeah, so nice little room. Got our vanity here. Got the TV. Got our little couch. Dreams wish your heart makes. Nice room. Overall, yeah, very nice. So what I think we're going to do now, 
Uh, we will see you at the Sail Wave party. We're going to change and actually go down to the pool. It's only 1.38. Uh, so we got about roughly two hours of pool time before we need to come upstairs, change again before the muster drill at 4, and the Sail Wave party at 4.30. So we'll see you there. Hello, hello, Disney Magic. Let me hear you make some noise. Woo -hoo! Your host here to get the party started with DJ Caitlin, who is ready for vacation. It's, like oh, yeah. it's time to sail a wave. Here we go. All cleaned up after the sail away party, which is always a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, we took a shower, came back, got all dressed up. And we we're going to Palo tonight. Oh. Uh, we actually originally had it on day three, but with our dining rotation, tonight's Animator's Palette definitely the weakest menu on the classic ship. So we're gonna skip that and go to Palo. So uh, we'll see you over in Palo at deck 10. Ah, beautiful Palo. Probably our first time doing dinner on Palo, uh, probably since like 2015. Only ever did it once. They're looking amazing awesome wine list cocktails really anything to think of they can make as well um, as we get into the dishes here let's hit pause on this real quick and talk about so when you book palo now uh, this is a change as of i believe 2021 or 2022 uh, essentially you pay the normal uh, 45 a person uh, which used to be 40 a person i believe uh, to reserve palo uh, and that goes towards a prefix menu which you can see right here uh, so very limited prefix menu. You pick one thing from each of the categories uh, and you get that for 40 a person. Um, you know, it used to be interesting, you know, you pay the 40 a person and you could basically order whatever you want. Uh, now you just get prefix. Um, but one thing to keep in mind with that is if you do not decide to do the prefix, they have the rest of the menu a la carte, uh, which is what we did. And you essentially order like you would at any other restaurant. You would just order whatever you get and you pay for that. I think our final bill came out to like $200 after tip and everything. So definitely a lot more money than what Palo used to be. It used to be an unbelievable deal for essentially like a hundred and some bucks a person after, you know, gratuities and drinks and things like that to now being, you know, fairly comparable to a, a, an upscale restaurant. But you, the food itself is a little more elevated than that. So. Um, probably still worth the money, but some to keep in mind. Now for the rest of the menu, still the menu you know and love. We have the uh, antipasto, that charcuterie board, the agnolati, which is our favorite of ours as well. So good. Uh, over here in the main dish is that Dover sole, asabuco that they're famous for. They have brought over some cuts of steak from the Wish and your accompaniments. Um, when you sit down, they do give you a really nice little arancini uh, with a mushroom sort of sauce uh, with parmesan. It's kind of an amuse-bouche to sort of stimulate your appetites. Uh, here we have the Palo, which is a limoncello martini, and Kelly got a uh, sort of basil kind of lemon martini. Uh, really, really good with this amazing bread that came along with our antipasto. We got salami, we have prosciutto, parmesan. Uh, we have bersola, which is meat, uh, beef, kind of aged, olives, uh, cheese. Oh my God, it's all so good, so good. Farewell, my friends. So for my entree, I got the Dover sole. Oh, it's got sun-dried tomatoes, capers, brown butter. They they fillet it table side. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. And then Kelly got the seared scallops. Oh, over risotto. Oh, they were so good. They were so good. You gotta be right next to me for it to look real. You gotta be right next to me. Everybody tries to make it look fake. Now we were getting a little, little sleepy, so we had espresso martinis for the very first time yeah she gets it we get it we get it now uh and then last but not least the souffle palo is famous for their souffle they have you order it with your dinner because they do make it fresh got an almond uh you know souffle it, it's uh affogato 
uh, with, with almond and Kelly got the chocolate and we of course shared it. Oh, they're so good. They make them fresh, they're hot, gelato. Oh, so we have returned to our room to find a crib with some chocolates. Minnie's on the bed. I love her. Love it. We have returned from Palo. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fantastic. Very happy. Very, Very good. Full. Very good. It's also our first time having espresso martinis. Never had one before. We got, I, we, got I an, we got an espresso machine recently, a Nespresso machine, that we're very, very obsessed so with. Good. Kelly's very obsessed I'm with. So obsessed with. Um, we might make those at home now. Oh They're very gosh. good. They're so good. We had them in our dessert. Yes, the I get the hype now, honestly. I get it. Yeah, yeah for sure. So good. Paolo is such an incredible experience. It really is. Whether we do dinner or brunch, we haven't done dinner in a really long time. Yeah, we only ever did dinner yeah. once, and then we've just been like diehard brunchers at yeah. Paolo, and now doing dinner again. It's brunch is a little bit better value for. My Money, in yeah, my opinion, sure. but dinner's just a different vibe. Like it was yeah. really relaxing, and quiet, like romantic. Like it was super yeah. nice. I will say, just to keep in mind, it is definitely a lot more expensive than it used to be. Oh yeah. Um, Palo used to be forty bucks a person, and you essentially order whatever, whatever you want. You, want. Mm -hmm. and, you know, not including alcohol, of course. Sure. Um, and now you're either stuck with a prefix menu, which I really, it, it really None comes across really as wanted. yeah. It's so limited, it comes yeah. across as like, they don't expect you to actually order the prefix menu, yeah. they expect you to go a la carte, a la carte which, which is, is the what, traditional which palo is what menu. We did. Yeah. Which is what we did. And it was good. Yeah, and it came out to about $200 yeah. for, for the meal, which mm -hmm. honestly isn't terrible, because yeah. we each had, you know, two martini style cocktails, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, an appetizer mm -hmm. that we shared, and Entree, two very high end entrees. Dessert. And, and dessert. And a mar espresso martini. Yeah. And so, to put it in context, we paid $130 at Margaritaville yesterday. And so. Yeah. That was absolutely terrible. That's why we're not food there bloggers. There were flies on everything. Why did we stay? I don't know why we left. I don't know why we didn't leave. Right anyway, Paolo was anyway, amazing. Paolo was absolutely Thank fantastic. Thank you, Cristo from yes. Bulgaria. Wonderful service. Amazing service. So glad that we Such got to Such a nice do guy. This. Super nice. Yes. Um, so I think now we're just gonna change get some comfy clothes. Yeah. Uh, we have a fun evening. So right now it's 8.37. Yeah. Um, at 10 o'clock we have Magic Quest, which is so uh, a really fun. fun little like scavenger hunt that they do in, in Fathoms with everyone. It's very, very fun. And then after that is Match Your Mate. My favorite. Um, I will probably film a little bit of Magic Quest. I will not film Match Your Mate because it is uh, a little adult. Yeah. Uh, we try to keep at least cruise vlogs a little more family friendly because sure. everybody watches them. Yeah. Um, so. We'll see you in a little bit as we walk around the ship. And we did do some shopping. We'll do a haul at the end, and I will kind of do a walkthrough of the different shops. Um, nothing crazy. You know, they yeah. have a little bit of 25th merch. I did get a pin. Which is exciting. Which is exciting. Yeah. You know, this is not a 25th sailing. Yeah, we are we are in the sailing that's between the 25th and Hauling oh, to the High Seas. We're like, what we're going to see? What are we going to do? Yeah. So it was cool to see some merch. For sure. Into the after hours area we go. We have Fathoms, the large venue, Keys, the piano bar. Kelly jumping in front of O'Gill's, the pub. Favorite bars as we head into the beautiful Keys. The boat was rocking just a little bit, but awesome little menu here. Uh, I really love how a lot of the, the lounges and bars now do sort of these table side experiences with a lot of their stuff. I mean, you're paying a bunch of money for it, might as well be fancy. Uh, Kelly got the uh, Spagliato with Prosecco. So we have that Negroni going in. Uh, you kind of mix it yourself, which is really cool. Uh, same same goes with that uh, French 75 we get. Uh, we'll show that uh, it's day two. But Kelly had a great little Spagliato Negroni with Prosecco. I'll be butchering that. Oh, we're going to have one, yeah? A tan line. A fresh tan line. Number four, yeah? Number 12. She's stealing your tan line. Number five. That's impressive. Number eight. <laughs> <laughs> After a very fun match or mate, always love a match or mate. We got some Pinocchio's Panucci's pizza. Hey, got a pepperoni. It's super hot. Better hot pizza, the fresh cheese. Oh, geez. Literally. That's spicy. We're back in the room. Hello. Hello. For our day one thoughts and debrief. Good what day. A, what a full day. Yeah, great day overall. Honestly. Really fantastic. You know, we. Onboarding was super simple. Yep. Like we barely even got to sit down yeah, before they, they call our group. group. We got on the ship, which is awesome. Eleven thirty-five. Yeah. Had lunch around twelve thirty. Mm -hmm. Laid by the pool. Got into our room at one thirty. It was nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. Super. I felt it felt like a really full day. For sure. I mean, yeah. it's also midnight. Yeah. But. Palo was absolutely fantastic. Palo was good. Incredible. Um, Went to Fathoms yeah, and we Fathoms. did um, Magic Quest. Yes. Which, if you watched our Alaska vlogs, we did Wonder Quest, and I had never seen a quest before, and I find them flipping hysterical. Oh, they're super funny. It was yeah. great. So we did very that and Match Your Mate. Yep. Also equally yeah. very entertaining. Oh yeah. And before that, we went to Into Keys. Oh yeah, we did. And had uh, really nice drinks. Kelly got a uh, Negroni. No. Spagliati. A Negroni. Where the hell that stupid viral drink is from the chick from the House a of Dragons? A Negroni Spagliati. Spagliato. Spagliati yeah. with prosecco in it. Yes. So, it was nice. very good. Beautiful good. presentation. Beautiful presentation. Love Key is live music. Oh, yeah. Pianist. And then we went over to Fathoms and mm -hmm. did Magic Quest and Match Your Mate. Yeah. Joey didn't like his drink, so I drank his drink as well. So the drink that I got yeah. was has the mad the it's Mountain Berry the Tea. The Mantis, yeah. The Mountain Berry Tea Which that I love loves. so much from um Nomad, Nomad Lounge. Lounge at Animal Kingdom. Yes. Overall. Well you didn't fantastic like it because I drank it. Yes, I didn't like it well because it had absolute vanilla in it. But the rest of the the mixers were, were very like it was a Chambord and lemon and lime, you know, very like tart stuff. And I was like, oh okay, you know, the absolute vanilla would kind of break that tartness a little bit. Yeah, just it was too sweet, and kind of bit. Uh, but anyways, fantastic evening. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we have Castaway Key. Um, we're definitely. It's actually be, it'll be the first time that we've done Castaway Key first before Nassau. Yeah. Typically, all of our cruises, it's always been Nassau mm -hmm. then Castaway Key. So it'll be interesting. Um, given how empty the Quiet Cove pool was, and how empty Match Your Mate yeah. and, and Magic Quest and was. In general. I don't think we're gonna like quote unquote rope drop Cast Week like, like we normally Serenity do. Serenity Bay, we typically write to, well, we typically like to get right off the ship at All Ashore, which is what, 8 a.m., 8.30 8 8 a.m. Yeah. And we run like right to Trinity Bay. We yeah. also have done the Castaway Key 5K in the past, but we're gonna yeah. skip it this time because it's already midnight. Yeah. We'll sleep in a little bit and we'll just head to Serenity Bay like leisurely. Yeah, you know, I don't just think it's really enjoy. gonna be that busy. So that's what I I'm love not about, worried about it. Yeah, and that's what I love about these kind of cruises. Like we've done it before, we don't feel like if we have to rush everything. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, it's really nice. Enjoy and, it. I mean, everybody, at least, you know, that aren't here with big families have seemed to be, you know, repeat cruisers yeah. or people that have either specifically come for the magic because they like yeah. the ship. Or like the people behind us, we overheard at Palo saying like, "Oh, it's they're finally their grand slam, so yeah. they're like finishing their ships." Um, but otherwise, you know, it's pretty much all really big families. Yeah, so I don't think um, the adults only yeah, section of the beach will I be very be busy empty. at all. Yeah. So there's like no point to rush. Yeah. So we'll just sleep in a little bit. Yeah. We'll hit Castaway Key. We'll relax. Yeah. Um, tomorrow is Pirate Night, which we loathe yeah sorry not they sorry really gotta do something um like but thank goodness they don't have the men the pirate night menu yes, thank God. sorry it's again the it's the menu worst menu ever across any cruise line for anything it's so bad but we're going to rapunzel's royal table which yeah. i'm really excited Very for exciting. great we'll do menu. Some more love rapunzel trivia live music on the ship so tomorrow's gonna be a really fun day it'll be really really nice yeah. um just to give you an idea of the cadence of these videos i'm gonna have this one come out um the week after we cruise uh, and then from there, they're gonna come out once a week. They're gonna be three total. Mm -hmm. So, even three weeks of Young at the Parks. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so look forward to those. If you liked our video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of our videos, make sure to subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time from Young at the Parks.